I know I've seen Adamus play this matchup numerous times, but I don't know how this is going to go. Like, on paper, DD will get comboed ridiculous amounts, like, inhuman amounts. It won't be fun for him. Even with good DI, it won't be fun. <laughs> but I, I just see Adamus play so many of these bad matchups for him and then just clutch it out somehow off of, like, some crazy reads that I can never really say who's going to win when it's Adamus' DD on the screen, so. Yeah, it's kind of like... It's kind of like how we've seen Ape and Man too. There's a lot of matches where we would see Adamisk lose, but because of being a veteran status, and say what you will about Wi-Fi DDD, it definitely helps him out a lot of understanding how matchups work. The change for Bayo from Smash 4 to Ultimate was very, very rough for her because she only has two tools in the neutral, and they are very readable and very stoppable. That being what you see there is side B is heel slide. If Bayonetta does not get that heel slide off, she has a very difficult time trying to win the neutral. It's a lot of it is heel slide and oh damn, you really parried that crazy. And ABK. <laughs> yeah, uh, heel slide and ABK to approach. But both of those are very punishable. Exactly. If the opponent's paying attention. As you can see from Adam is getting that parry to up smash on the heel slide for the first stock already. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of ledge pressure. He's gonna go for this. Yeah, the Jet Hammer actually does two frame, crazy enough. So, uh, not a lot of DDs go for it, surprisingly. I've only I've seen Adamus go for it, but it is very strong. As you can see right now, man, Adamus continuing to just win neutral over and over. Yeah. Uh, Amaryllis is really trying to find a way to get in on DD, like get some reasonable type of uh, damage here, but. Really it's rough. Very difficult. Yeah. yeah, using those multiple jumps gets the inhale and the stage control with the Gordo setup. That's good. Able to stop the ABK barely. Also, Amit is paying very close attention to Amaryllis' habit of witch time and disadvantage. Like, he's not swinging early. He's just waiting right. for Amaryllis to just do that. Give it a free punish. Like, even though he's winning by a lot, he's actually playing very patiently. Like, he's really paying attention to what Bayonetta's options are. Yeah, oh, excellent I tech. And, and the, the fourth stool, <laughs> that will be all she wrote for game one. Adamus <laughs> with a three star. Jesus, man. Uh, Adamus will say that that was intentional. He will say that was intentional. Man, he deserves it, dude. That, that really hurts. I'm sorry, that's a big yikes. But yeah, sorry, as we mentioned it, uh, Bayo from Smash 4 to Ultimate. It's rough for her, man. She's only got two tools in the neutral. And you can tell that Adamus understood what Bayonetta's game plan is coming into Ultimate and just understands, all right, cool. Once I pretty much get this, opportunities to stop Bayonetta coming in with ABK, stop her from getting in with heel slide. I can legitimately just have a really good time here on the stage, especially him using Gordos. Even if he doesn't use Gordo to edge guard or if he just throws it out there and it gets him back by ABK, it's one thing that, ABK still interacts with it, and that still gives Adamisk the opportunity to still punish Amaryllis here. Actually, looking pretty rough. Yeah, it I, is. I, I'm, I'm thinking Nair is probably the best thing that Bayo has to just consistently hit the Gordos back. Yeah, but that won't always let you approach. But yeah, we're we're seeing the switch. We're seeing the switch to Robin. Yeah, good for Amaryllis. It's, it's already a better matchup. <laughs> it's a better. Crazy as that sounds, like Bayo D used to be. Like almost unwinnable, <laughs> but but Robin's here now. Yeah. Oh, uh, careful! See the thing about oh, Gordo there is this is a very work. strong option select here, and if Amaryllis <gasps> is not careful, they'll get punished from getting up at the ledge. What is happening at the ledge right now? <laughs> he just took so much for sin. He almost died like three different times. Oh, the oh nice! Air. What the love sword here? Amaryllis with the aggressive offstage play. Oh, dude. Adamus almost got the upbeat spike. Yeah. Crazy. Gets the cross up here with arc fire, barely. <laughs> Unintentional cross up here, but Amaryllis will take it this to back air. Adamus with control. He has to go for the low recovery here. Yeah. Nice ledge pressure. The re-grab on the Levin Sword. Tossing it out. Yeah, good retreat. Directional air dodge to get up. Watch the jet hammer, but unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would have got hit by that too. I honestly don't know how he could have avoided that. I think you just have to hit him before he gets the armor activated. And yeah, you and have to. Good. That is your best bet too. Pretty funny though that Adamus went for that. <laughs> that got to work. That's enough throw up air. 
Got an oh, armor no, stone, have, yeah. Read the jump. Oh, I'm real slow on the draw there. Good for good attempt on the grab just to get more stage control, but usually an opponent might go for a jump there. And not a miss definitely did not hesitate to jump. Armor from the up P2. I'm real Wanted the Levin Sword to definitely send him to the depths. Narrowly missing it. Really good spacing right now for Adamus. Very patient. Oh, with like, grab. Well, it's in the Gordo too? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was so good. So good positioning. It's like drift right past the projectile, get right next to Robin. Catches the air dodge and everything. And this is already a really huge leap for Adamus. It, but the nature of him being a heavy, he's not going to die anytime soon. Oh, oh my goodness. No, for some Down there? recovery, yeah, oh. barely. See, even though he didn't get the kill there, but wait, wait, hold on. What? All right. Nice. I saw him buffer Gordo in the blast zone. Yeah, I'm a rule we'll for the chance we'll to come it. back here. 59 to 29. Down throw up air? Yeah. Yeah, he I'm just got gifted that stock. Oh, yeah. If I was Amaryllis, I would I would try to take advantage of this as much as possible. Still looking really good for Admus, though, in spite of everything. Yeah. No 11 card right now. Mm. Ooh, and the hard punish on that neutral getup. Admus charging that down smash for a very long time. He's covering a lot of options, honestly. Yeah. Uh, man, that was...